Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some uh, Dwarf Fortress. Uh, this is the vanilla update after two long years to the lovely uh, Dwarf Fortress. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of adventure mode stuff, but first I'm going to kind of show you what I have for a fortress that I'll be doing tonight live for all the lovely peoples that come and join in. Uh, now, everything you will see will be in ASCII. Unfortunately, tile sets don't really work right now all that much. So, you know, we got what we got. That's all we got. This is my lovely fortress. I have some nice walls here, a nice little moat going around my big central walls, a little bridge. You can see our trade depot, a bunch of different workshops kind of in the center here. These little smiley faces are our workers. So we, kind of, we kind of zoom in more to all these. You can see them a little better. So it's a pretty nice little fortress. We currently have the children in the uh, training room getting uh, sticks jabbed into their face holes. <laughs> I may disassemble them soon though and make them a little bit tougher than that because right now they're not training well enough. But hey, what can you do, eh? What can you do? So yeah, it's a pretty nice little fortress. Uh, one of the main things I want to show you is a lot of the updates, or most of the updates, are generally for adventure mode this time around. There are a few updates for Fortress Mode, but most of it is concerning Adventure Mode. Uh, one of the cool things about this... Let me actually lower this down a little bit more. Apologies. Stupid thing's a little bit too ear rapey right now. Alright, there we go. Uh, one, of the th one of my favorite things is actually the both multi-tile and multi-floor trees. You can see we have a 2x2 a two two, uh, Gingo tree here. Uh, over here we have this oak trunk, and if I go start going up throughout the layers, you can start seeing their branches and their leaves and twigs. You can sometimes see they have some fruit. We go oak. Let's see, I have a cherry tree somewhere. Pecan trees. We can see that there'd be some uh, pecan branches. We go down a layer. Thick pecan tree branches. We might find some pecan tree seeds or seeds. Uh, fruit. Somewhere up around here. I know there are certain like cherry trees like right here. So we can find some cherries. I guess maybe they are all uh, retiring for winter. Regardless, we have these multi-tile, multi-level trees. Each tree you cut down now drops a whole load of logs. Uh, they also have roots that dig into the ground a bit. So you can see that right here with these oak roots. So it's rather interesting. Uh, some other things that were added in. With a lot of the adventure stuff, apparently, uh, enemies can now climb walls, which is why I made the moat. Apparently, they have issue cur issues currently uh, qual uh, climbing smooth walls, which is what our walls are made out of. So, it would be uh, intriguing to see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, but I did this just in case for the, you know, security of it. Now, another interesting thing is fortress retirement that got added in. Uh, you can now retire your fortress, which will, as it kind of sounds like, it will retire the fortress, and then you will be able to, it will, it'll basically continue on, it'll continue living and expanding and doing its own thing while you're away, and you can then reclaim it later, it could either be destroyed by, you know, say goblins, it could still be a thriving, insane civilization, uh, so they can be retired, never retired. Losing is still fun, doesn't happen if you when you want. You can put it off for a while. Retired forts can be conquered much more easily than they would be if you still controlled them. So, it's interesting. It is rather interesting for that. So that's a nice little cool thing, the multi tile trees. Site maps for dwarves, elves, and goblins. Uh, they're very basic, but they are there anyway. Tracking information in adventure mode. You can see tracks and stuff in K. Different levels of combat. The opponent's investor mode will be listed with the current status, non-lethal, lethal, or lethal, or no quarter. In other words, no quarter, you can't surrender to them. Combat takes place over a period of time now, and you can do things like uh, catching an opponent's attack. You have to do that by targeting a grab at the offending part. Reactions are used in the menu. So it's really, it's really complex and added in there. There's a whole lot of new menus and stuff for this. So let me get out of fortress mode. Save game. And we're going to go on into some adventure mode. I have created a new map already. Now, anytime you make your make, anytime you go on either adventure or create a new fortress, the world has to have spend two weeks updating. 
I think it's a little bit longer for fortresses, but regardless, you have to spend a portion of time updating the world. So we're probably going to have to hold on through that for a minute here. Come on, come on, update, update. Now, I tried for about 30, 40 minutes to try and get tile sets to work on this, but unfortunately, I could not for the life of me figure it out. It seems like it's pretty easy. It's just missing an init file in the actual uh, tile set itself. By all means, if anybody knows where I can get my hands on that, or if it's just the default one on the wiki, then I can easily take care of that. Okay, let's start playing Adventure Mode in Region 2. So we're going to kind of wander around again, and it'll be ASCII. You can see now this is the calendar. It will advance uh, two weeks. So from 1 all the way down to 15. You can see it's slowly, it's on 5 now. It's going to jump to 6, and so on and so forth. So this does take a little time. It can be a little, it may lag or hang up for a second while, it's, while we're waiting for that to be done. So it's interesting. Conversations have been redone. You can get a guide to travel with you to a faraway place. Still ended up being too cumbersome, so locals continue to be able to tell you the location of sites, but only within a certain distance of their hometown. Paragraph at the beginning of Adventure Mode was marginally more useful, but that slipped a bit and the end as things got tweaked. Lots of new area or area arena options. Not just the conflict state, you can set uh, temperature, etc., and all sorts of extremes. Ooh, interesting. Some experiments with procedural yeah. items. Though the new demon type sites are still quite fun now. The knowledge on the slab at the bottom can be used, but it's probably not worth the trouble. And then, of course, the stuff I forgot. Eh, yeah, Toadie. Always, always gives you just kind of a general change log. Alright, so we have humans, elves. I think I'm going to go with a human outsider or something. Yeah, we'll go for a human on the right side here. I'm going to make myself a demigod just to be, you know... A little bit stronger and kind of show things off. High agility. Alright. Let's put some points, scatter some points around here. Focus. And I'll put increase the toughness, high toughness. All right, now there's so many different options what I could do. I could create my create, create a lasher if I wanted to, a pikeman, an axeman, so on and so forth. But of course, the first thing I want to max out here right now is dodging. We're well, not max it out, but I need to make myself a really good dodger. Uh, we're swimming. I definitely need some kind of swimming. There we go. Adequate swimmer. Armor and shield user get all those basics. And I think I'll pump the rest into Axeman. Adequate Axeman. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. I'd like to increase that a little bit more, but I'll just have to work on being a better Axeman later. But dodging is incredibly important, because if you get hit, you're going to be hurting for quite a while. Alright. That looks good. Let's continue. Now, there's a lot you can actually do here that's intriguing. Of course, I can name myself. Let me enter my first name. Silver, customize my name, let's search for a dragon, thank you, silver dragon squeezed, <laughs> that's a little weird, a little awkward, but whatever, let's go with that, I want to be a male human, I can change my background, I am locally important, apparently, Whoops, I didn't actually mean to continue, but I guess I did it by accident. Oh, well. Oh, well. Anyway, again, though, everything will be in ASCII. I am right in the top left corner currently. That's my guy. I can see we have... Ooh, a lady. Hello, lady. We have a floor hatch here that probably leads up or down and sideways, wherever the hell it is. I'm going to walk over to her, and what the... What'd she say? I am separated from Mata. I cannot give in to sadness. Let me hit Q so I can put away my my weapon. I'm going to strap my silver great axe to my upper body. And my bronze shield to my upper body. Let me hit K. I want to shout out... I want to talk to the lady here. I want to greet her. Hello, it is good to see you. Long live the cause. Traveling alone in the wilds, you know better than that. 
And then I can after the after you initiate a conversation, you can continue the ongoing conversation for this. Bring up a specific incident or rumor. I can spread rumors, but I do not wish to do that. Change the subject. Request duty or advice pertaining to service as a hearth person. You may enjoy these times of peace, but remain vigilant. Ask about some troubles. We've got abductions, beasts, criminals, bandits, and skulking vermin. Okay, tell me about these abductions. A few years ago, Alla Bake Breaches was kidnapped from Sooth's Nest by Vess Fondly, fondly Relieved, apparently. Ongoing conversation. Ask for the whereabouts of the human. He is in the hill of Balding. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I can't seem to ask any more further information about that, though. That's the major problem. The major problem I have currently with Adventure Mode is figuring out exactly, you know, where the quests are and what we have to do there. Because I'm assuming we have to free the kid, but God knows how difficult that's going to be. But we'll try. We'll look at the map and see if there's anything that we can find on this. So let's see. Let's ask about the structure, man. This is the fed uh, wall. In 84, the goblin ruled from the fed wall and the council of crying. Okay. Whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Okay. Ongoing conversation. Hmm. Ask for a favorite place request. Ask listener to join you. Claim the site for myself. No, that would be bad. Hmm. I'm going to ask him to join me. Guide me to a location. Request guide to the human. I would rather not. Very well then. Now let's see if I get out of here. What's she saying this time around? I have no idea. Anyway, let's get around and see if we can find around here. Whoops. I'm not trying to search the area. Now I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing here again. I'm still getting used to doing all this again. Oh, because my cap lock is on. That's what the problem was. Yeah, that's what the problem was. Okay, so we've got a statue of a giant snapping turtle here. And, ooh, a bag of some kind. Sneak, 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 sneak. Steal. I'll take the iron pickaxe. Let me hit R. Don't want to remove I want to hit P, actually. I'm going to put away the iron pick into the cougar leather backpack that I have. Let's see. We have a bronze two-headed sword. Ooh. Nice. Except I will also put that away. Into my backpack. Gee, what else do we have here? Horse leather shirt. An iron two-handed sword. I'll again put that away in my backpack. Hmm, trousers. Uh, wool rope. I guess I'll take the rope. All right, let's look around this place. Looks like we have a stairway that goes up somewhere or down. Not really sure. I'm assuming that the actual exit exit has got to be over there. Let's kind of adventure around here. Ooh, what do we have here? Statue. We have a chest. Bunch of different chests and bags. Well, since no one's around here, I might as well steal these. Take the bronze arrows. All the bronze arrows. What else do we have here? Nothing of interest. A splint. I guess I'll take the Grey Langer Quiver. Put 
put it in the quiver, actually. I'm going to wear that quiver. Be nice if I had a bow to go with that. Ooh, an iron helm. I'll take that, and I'll wear that. What, I can't wear that iron helm? Why can't I wear that iron helm? That's awkward. All right, then. That's unfortunate. I'm assuming I need large items, like a large helm. This That would have fit a dwarf, but it would not fit me, which is really weird. Iron shield. Let's see what else we have in this thing. I'm just randomly taking stuff from this place. Let's wear the bronze gauntlet. So it seems like some of this stuff I can wear. It's really odd like that. Inventory. What am I wearing currently on my head? Maybe it's because I ran out of space to wear it. I don't know. A bronze short sword. So I'm just randomly stealing all this kind of stuff from here. Ooh, let's take that iron whip. Okay. Elder training shield, which is a type of uh, type of spear. Iron scimitar. I'll take that. Bronze right gauntlet, I'll take that and wear it. Okay, let's take the iron low boots. See if I can wear it. I cannot. Shame, shame. So it's like kind of seeming random at the moment about what I can even equip. But hey, I'm not complaining too much. <laughs> Uh, I'll take what I'll take what free crap I can steal from this place. Oh, hello. What have we in here? Free shit. I'll take it, take it, take it all. Let's see a bronze breastplate. Ooh, please tell me I can wear that. Please tell me yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Nice. An iron flail. That is awesome. I definitely want that. I will see if I can level up my whipping at some point. Copper scimitar. Training axe. And a lot of what happens, too, depends on line of sight and some other stuff. If I actually encounter somebody... Let me get this iron cap. Nope. Refuses to let me wear it. That's alright, though. Oh, sure, I'll take this Capricron. It's a type of gem. Um, if I, like, I went through an entire camp of sleeping goblins, essentially, and just slaughtered them all. It was ridiculous. Let's take these bronze bolts. Mm hmm. Copper arrows. Alright, I'd say we've stolen enough from this place. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. What am I currently wielding? So I have a bronze helmet in my right hand and the iron shield in my left hand. Alright, inventory. Let's go P. I want to put the iron helm, or iron helm, bronze helm, away. We'll put it in. There we go. Wait, did I seriously just put that in the quiver? Ha! It's not what I had intended to do. Okay. Uh, what am I currently wielding now? I got my silver great axe, multi grip. Okay. Let's see. I've got the great axe in my left hand. And I'm assuming I have the bronze shield in my right hand. Well, I guess I can be a lefty. I suppose. Suppose I can be a lefty. Okay, let's get on out of here, shall we? Ah, the free open world. Okay, let's hit uh, capital T for travel. Hit M for the map and see if our destination pops up. Let's 
let's see. I do not even know. It seems to be something right over there, but also a river. I'm not sure what it is. Let me type or type scroll through this. No significant structures. So really, I, I just don't have anything to do. Because it would not, she would not give me proper directions, it seems like. That's the weirdest thing. I can't even find that structure again. Here we go, the fed well. Let's stop. Maybe I can ask her again for a different instruction and see if she can lead me where the hell I need to go. Or at least tell me where the heck I need to go. Would be helpful. I mean, geez, the least she can do is inform me. God. Such a pain in the ass. But even in sound sense, I can't seem to get it working properly. I know it can be made to work, I just don't know how. Because I haven't had to edit stuff like that for a long, long time, so I have completely lost practice with it. Uh, greet. Hello. Continue shutting. Uh, inquire about any troubles. Let's see. Bandits. Let's go criminals. Sprawling criminal organization has left the people living in fear. They have a town called Little Strap, somewhere in the hills. Ask for directions. Half a day's travel to the southeast. We received a de detailed de uh, description. Okay. So now I have a detailed description about where the hell I'm actually going. So let's head southeast. Half a day's travel, so it shouldn't be too far. That might be it. It's definitely so. No, that's actually an uh, army of some kind. Hello? So it's southeast. I guess I'll just keep traveling southeast until I see the destination. Whoa! That's one sprawling ass city we have there. You know what? Because I am still very vague and foggy about exactly what the hell I'm supposed to do for the most part here. Let me E. Well, I can't seem to move around here properly. But yeah, let me get to the gates of this empire. We'll stop. I'm going to eat and drink quickly. Okay, we're going to eat that. It's apparently now ice. I guess it's a good idea that I did that quickly. Wow, that went fast. Hold on. See all those little question marks of people having conversations? I'm just, I'm just, it's make because this is a large city now, it's a lot more difficult for me to move. I'm trying to make my way through here. There's just so many different conversations and things going on, it's ridiculous. So obviously there's still, you know, there's a lot of optimization that's probably going to go on with this game. Ongoing conversation with him. Reply to greeting. I am. The sun will set soon. Be careful, but the boogeyman will get you. Several years ago, someone was kidnapped. Ongoing conversation. Ask about the whereabouts of this human. He is in the Celebrated Hills. But then you give me no further about information about where is the Celebrated Hills. You know, how do I get there? So on, so forth. You know, there's those details, man. Details. We got some red sand. Applewood slabs. Clothing shop sign. Wow, I can't move. It's so difficult to move. You know what I'm going to do? Shout out to everybody. I'm going to bypass the greeting. I'm going to claim this place is my own. 
And then I'm going to murder them all. Claim the cipher myself. The armored group. Sure, that works. Continue shouting. Hmm. Just now, Silver Dragon claimed this place in the name of the armored group. State that it is terrific. That's terrific. Does anyone want to fight me for it? Alright, let's keep going. Let's see what else I can say. Shout to my deity. Become a hearth person. You have me as my lord. Wait. Um, did I just... I'm asking this god to become my minion, and he's pretty much saying yes. Okay, ongoing conversation. Claim this site for yourself. The armor group already did that. Make way for Lord Silver Dragon Squeezed and the armored group. So I'm going to slowly make my way through town here. This is actually taking a lot longer than I would hope because, you know, every time I do something, they have to do like a thousand different things. So it's definitely going to be slow going. All right, let's travel. General store, houses, clothing imports, the wells. Oh, I see what I'm looking for. I'm going to go to the keep here. Tavern, food imports, bone carver shop. Okay, let's stop. I'm going to go to the keep, which I think is beside me right now. And I'm going to engage it. Who the hell is that? Oh, some merchants like, Silver is coming! Silver is coming! Run for the hills! Oh, come on! Can I please... Let me see, how do I... You know, I think I'm going to jump everywhere. It seems the only way I can actually, you know, consistently move someplace fast at the moment is to jump everywhere. Come on. Oh, and I crashed it. Ah, you bastard. You bastard. As you can see, this version of Dwarf Fortress is going to be incredibly crashy, incredibly buggy, and so on and so forth. Beyond quality. Beyond quality. Oh man, that classic. How long has it been since I've seen this graphic? So long, so long, because Masterwork and everything else bypasses this, this intro movie. Although you can enable it not to. So he stays in, it's like, <gasps> Love it. Continue. So essentially we lost that entire adventure mode character, shit. Here I wanted to go into the castle and start lopping off arms and legs and, you know, chopping pe- You know what, let me quickly start another one. Quickly start another adventurer, and I'm just going to go around and start just chopping people up. I don't even care who they are, what they're doing, I'm just going to start chopping people up. 
Unfortunately, I had to wait through this damn calendar again to update the world. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, well. What can you do? It will do what it wants and take as long as it wants to do it. Oh, well, it's already at nine, so that's good. Ten. Blark. Aw, oh, stretch. All right. So we'll be quickly going on our little adventure, and I'm going to make the same kind of character. Good old axe dwarf. Loved, I love hacking limbs. It's nice. It's fabulous. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. We ain't got all day here. Let's go, go, go. We'll start up here, I guess, as humans. All right. Let me zoom in on this so we can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Superior agility. There we go. Perfect. And I guess focus. Okay. Now, competent axe man. Let me get all the basics. Novice swimmer. A master dodger. And I'll pump the rest of the axemen. There we go. Good enough. Skilled axemen, master dodger, novice swimmer. Good enough for me. I'm not even going to name myself. I will be male, though. Finally got your equipment together. Okay, who do we have in here? It's a child, a bowman, and a lady. Where is some guy cannot give in to the sadness? Well, I'm going to hit shift and A. I really do want to attack this bowman with my iron battle axe. Out wide to confirm. Yes, I want to strike him. Let's see where I can get him. I'm going to go upper body. And this is where things get interesting now. These are all the kinds of things we have now. We have a multi-attack. Choose another simultaneous action afterwards. So let's go. Let's try a multi-attack. And I want to hack him with my iron battle axe. Okay. And I want to strike him again afterwards in the head. And this time with a heavy yet but slower attack. And I'm going to strike him with my bronze shield. And then period to act. There we go. Child draws his iron slicing knife with his left hand as I go into the lay into this guy. I hack him in the upper body from behind with my iron battle axe, cleaving him asunder. Tendon has as in, in the middle has been torn. My iron battle axe was lodged firmly in the wound. He has been struck down instantly. The lady has become enraged. The death, the horror. I have killed somebody. Rawr. Yes, I have. I have killed your father. And now I'm afraid I'm going to have to chop your little head off. Let's do this. A very powerful heavy attack with my axe. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. My poor little child. You hack the child in the neck with your iron battle axe and the severed part sails off in an arc. Let's see what she has to say about that. Let me see if I demand something from her. Shout to everybody. Bypass the greeting. I'm going to demand. Demand the listener yield. You first, coward. Oh, you. you that, was, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to slice your head off now. Just saying. You know, I gave you the chance, but you denied me. So, yeah. There you go. So, I just walked over and I cut her head off. Let's go see if the archer had something on him. He had an iron bow, some arrows. I'm looking for armor, though. Something to help me stay alive while I'm slaughtering the younglings. Slaughter all the younglings! Nope, nothing. Okay, let's go on down and start slaughtering all the younglings. What do we have here? Copper flute, copper shield, bronze warhammer. Ooh, nice. Let's go... Whoops. Not what I wanted to do. Let's go shift A. Yes, I want to attack this axe attack the axeman. 
I want to quickly strike him. Looks like uh, look at a good lower body strike here. I'm going to do a heavy attack, a hack with my sword. Ooh, let's see. Bruising the skin. All we did was bruise the skin. Wow, that's not too good. Let's go for his right upper arm. We're going to hack at it. Oh, his arm sails off in an arc. Okay, let's see what else we can do now. Upper body, let's do a strong, heavy attack. Hack his upper body. Uh, tearing at the muscle, tearing apart the liver through his octopus leather armor. Let's go for his lower body quickly. Let's do a heavy, another heavy hack attack. Oh, damn. Tearing apart the pancreas through his low wool cape. Already has been opened by the attack. The axe was lodged from in the moon. Moving down, I regained control of it. Looks like he's down, so let's quickly do a nice heavy attack on his head. And he's downed. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, I want to attack the maceman quickly before he gets away. Let's go for the head. It's a tricky strike, but I might be able to do it. So we'll hack at his head. He moved out of range. How fleeting is life. This doesn't scare me. Let me jump. Quickly, do not let him escape. Go for his, let's see, left hand. Let's hack off his left hand. Oh, it is gone in an arc. Okay, what else can we do here? Let's go for his upper body. Try for a... Nice, I slap him from behind with the flat of my iron battle axe. Looks like he got deflected. That's alright though. Let's go for the head. I want a strong slice slash attack. Oh, and I severed off his head. Another one bats of dust. Ah, bow, bow, bow. Anyway, that's terrible. Okay, and we're not really finding a lot of armor off these guys. Hi, fellas! I slaughtered your companions, and now I'm going to slaughter all of you. And that's the thing that's weird. You know, when I start slaughtering them, they don't really seem to react to me properly. They're not attacking me. So I'm just kind of walking by, being like, you know, here's a tricky strike, just kind of strong, and slash his head off. And his head sails off in an arc. Farmer spits. At times, creeping things slither from below. Attack the child. Yes, I must cut off his head. Off with his head. Looks like first I had to go for his arm, though. Hack his arm off. Oh, yeah, there goes his arm. There goes his arm. Yes, I'm sure I want to attack the child. Okay, let's go for his upper body. Let's do a strong hack. The horror con child death. The horror consumes me. Child claws for her slashing knife. Okay, we got a tricky striker to lower body. Let's go for it. Artery has been opened by the attack. Oh, wow. Your iron battle axe tearing apart the muscle through the rope reader cape and spilling her guts. Oh, that poor child. That poor child. You missed the child. There we go. You missed the child. Let's go with the upper leg. There we are. Regain possession of my battle axe. Go for the head. Let's go for a slash to that. Oh, and the head sails off in an arc. There's nothing like, you know, murderer! Get the murderer! No, I'm just walking from guy to guy. They're not attacking me. They're not really doing anything. And I'm just killing everybody. So, yeah. Oh, nice. It's a difficult strike. I managed to hack his head off. I want to shout out to everybody. Bypass the menu. I'm going to claim this site for myself. We are the group of walls. Farmer spits. The flying sp human spit misses you. Let's go again. Continue shouting. Let me see what the claim. That's terrific. I'm gonna change the subject now. And I'm going to demand that they surrender. You know, if there was actual detail to this part of it, you know, taking over a site and then having them, you know, work for you would be interesting. But I don't know how detailed we can really get in this. I wanna make demands. Demand that they yield. He spits at me. You cat. You first, coward. Okay, fine then. If that's the way you want to do it, that's the way we're going to do this. 
So you've been spitting at me for a while now. So how about I chop off your head? I would like, to, I would, you know, I would love to chop off your head. He rolled away. Let's go for the neck. Oh, hacked into the maceman's neck and he head sails off in an arc. You are going to pay, my friend. There we go. Oh, and there goes your head. That's what you get for spitting at me all this time, you little punk. Iron Morning Star, some leather armor. What is that then? Oh, it's the floor. I see. So I've slaughtered everyone in here. All the younglings are dead. All the people are dead. You wouldn't expect that after the first murder. You are now in control of Pharaoh, was it? Prophet Beasts, ruling group of the walls from the. Ruling the group of walls from the Olive Gills. Nice! I'm in control of this place. Sweet. I now own this place. This is my throne. This is my building. It is badass. It's where my bandits will camp out as we slaughter all the younglings. Slaughter all the younglings. Oh, hey, we got some yaks. Let's go get some yak. So I think it's yak. Yes, I want to attack the yak cow. Oh, wait, it's tame. Still, let's go for it anyway. Uh, let's take off its right fl front leg. Hacked it open. Oh, sensory nerve has been torn. Oh, you poor bugger. Okay, let's go a heavy attack. Gives into the pain, falls over. Finish him. Skull has been torn. Let's go for the neck with a heavy attack and a slash. Tearing apart the muscle. Wow, this thing really doesn't want to die. Finally, it got struck down. So now I go over and hit X. I can butcher it. Butcher its mutilated corpse with my iron axe. And then I can hit G and pick up all the... Uh, of what I, whatever I want. You know, I can pick up the bones. I can pick up the sweet bread. Prepared intestines. Prepared yak heart. So I guess I prepare this already. Let's see. Let's go with the yak meat. Take all seven yak meat. Look at my yaks. My yaks are amazing. But yeah, nobody even counterattacked me really during all of that. I just slaughtered everyone here, and pretty much they didn't even put up a fight. It's sad like that. But yeah, that's currently what adventure mode seems to be like here. They just aren't really engaging me. Like I could walk into a town and probably slaughter everyone, and it would be they'd be fine about it. They wouldn't like put up a concentrated effort to engage me. I think I only had like a couple of goblins ever engage me when I went through their camp, just killing everything. So that's a bit of a shame, but what can you do? So we own all of this now. All of this are belong to us. I'm trying to think where there's some other structures around this place. Nope. It said south. Oh, hello. Maybe that's the color for civilization. I don't know. Let's see here. Yeah, we got houses. A well. Let's go stop here. Let's stop by the well. I'm going to brag about my slaughtering of the younglings. What was that? Bypass it. Brag about my past violent acts. I am the slayer lady in, of the fair fellowship. Once revered by those who didn't know any better. Continue shouting. Continue bragging. I am the foe whose cries for mercy went unheard by my wrath. I am the death of her once again. Okay, that's about all we got here. Yeah, that's there's not really too much I can do, you know. I can just walk through here and just keep slaughtering everybody, and I'm sure everybody will be fine about it. Great beast threat has been ruined upon our people. The dragon? Oh, fuck you! Let's go about the whereabouts of this dragon. Uh, 
Ask a favor. Change subject. Uh, ask leaders in order to join me, to guide me to the location, to the human, to the human. Then the lost hill. The lost hill. Guide to the dragon. Let me start a new conversation. Somebody better guide me here. Anybody? Does anybody? Continue shouting. I need somebody to guide me or they I can't figure out how to get there. Uh somebody guide me to a location, please. Fuck you, child. I don't care about you. I'm not talking to you. Go away. Thank you. Jesus. Guide me to a location. I would rather not. Start a new conversation with my deity. And I crashed. Ha! Well, fuck my life. No dragon slaying for me. No dragon slaying for me. So yeah, as you can see, the game is incredibly buggy still. They're working on it. Uh, they will have, you know, they will get all this done or fixed out eventually, ironed out. As it were. Uh, but yeah, I should be doing some more Dwarf Fortress tonight, so you can feel free to come on down and check it out and hang out, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Might try abandoning the fort and then reclaiming it later and seeing what happened. See what kind of stuff they built and so on and so forth. Uh, but anywho, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed this look at the new version of Dwarf Fortress. I know that a lot of people don't like the ASCII tile set. I'm sure a lot of you were confused as hell as to what the hell was even going on here. But, you know, what can you do, eh? What can you do? <laughs> it's what we got right now. Uh, all this will be ironed out and remodded and tweaked down the road. But, yeah. Till next time, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, have yourselves a great one. And I will see you all another time with some more Dwarf Fortress, whether it be Masterwork or this lovely insanity. <laughs> Till then, peace out.